Welcome back to another beautiful day in the land of music. My name is Douglas and in today's video, I'm gonna be taking you through making a beat inside MPC Beats with the Oxygen Pro Mini Controller. Now, this is also to demonstrate live looping because as I get into this, I'm gonna pick my program and I'm gonna switch tracks on the fly while we're recording and record all the parts of my beat and then show you how to extend that beat and create track mutes so we can go in and actually build a song all very quickly using everything that comes included with the Oxygen Pro Mini. So MPC Beats, the sound packs we're using, all of this comes included for free with the Oxygen Pro Mini. So let's jump right in and I've got MPC Beats pulled up here. If you don't have MPC Beats installed and you haven't connected and configured the Oxygen Pro Mini with MPC Beats, go ahead and watch the video I have on that. The link is in the description below. And in that video, I go through how to install MPC Beats, how to get the Oxygen Pro Mini connected and fix the mapping between the controller and the software. I'm using all of those same methods in this video. I've built a mapping for myself. If I go over to this Learn tab here, you can see that Oxygen Pro Mini 1 is a custom preset that I built that connects if I click on learn, you'll see I've connected all of the pads, including the second pad bank on the controller, the start, stop, record, all of that connected and mapped from the Oxygen Pro Mini to MPC Beats. So everything works for me. I can hit play and the transport control play, stop, all of that good stuff. So all of that's connected and good to go. Again, if you have questions on that or you need help with that, I've got a link in the description below to go watch the video that I made on that. It goes in depth on how to connect and get the mapping set. But moving beyond that, let's go ahead and create a new project file here. So up in the menu, click on new project, we're gonna not save our current one here and we're gonna load up an empty project. Now there's a few things that I like to do when I'm setting up for a live looping beat making session. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is turn the metronome on. I like to play with a metronome because it keeps everything in sync as long as I play in sync, I guess. We're gonna keep TC, which is timing correct on, which is kind of like your quantize feature within MPC Beats. It's gonna pull those notes inside the beats per minute that we set here. That's the next thing we're gonna do is, you can set this to whatever you want, but I'm gonna go ahead and set this to 96. And hit enter on my keyboard. You could also tap this using this tap button and just click that or press T on your keyboard to set the tempo there. The other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bump this up to four bars. I like to do a four bar beat because I feel like it gives me the ability to put some variety inside my loop and then we're gonna extend that later in this session. The other thing we're gonna to wanna to do is close this learn section here and open up our media browser. This is where we have our sound packs or our expansion packs and then all of our sounds here. So I'm gonna be using the MPC Beats producer kits. Again, this comes included with the Oxygen Pro Mini. And then I've got this filtered to EDM and I'm gonna use the EDM kit Fluxit 128 beats per minute. Double click on that and it loads it into my project file. It already loaded it up to the pads. If it didn't, you could double click on this program right here and it'll load it up. Let's see what that sounds like here. I'm on my first bank of pads, which I have assigned to the lower eight pads inside MPC Beats. And then I can change banks on the controller and go into the upper half of the 16 pads inside MPC Beats. You can double click on the stop button to kill any loops. So this one for, uh, which one was it? This one here is a long loop. Again, we can double click on stop to stop that. We are probably not gonna use that one, but I like some of the sounds in here. And so we're gonna use those inside our beat. So next thing we're gonna do is over here in our track, if I drop this down, you'll notice we have track one and track two unused. Now the way MPC Beats works is as we continue to add tracks. So if I click to track two unused, now you'll see that there's now a track three. And so it's gonna automatically add that next track for us. Let's go back to track one. And we've got our program called up here. And so you'll notice here in this track that we have these almost subtracks for each sound on the pads. So as we play this, you'll notice it cycles through. And if we record just a quick beat here, it's gonna give me a four beat counting. 
you'll notice that it puts each sound on its own little subtrack and breaks it out really nicely for us. I'm going to click undo, control Z or undo up here. One thing while I'm thinking of it, let's go down to this little zoom bar here and bring that all the way back so we can see all four of our bars right here. Now let's go over to here and let's actually record the kick. So the way that we want to do this is we want to put like instruments on their own tracks. And the reason is because when we go to build our full song, we're going to use this track mute feature within MPC Beats. And this allows us to mute and unmute tracks on the fly and record that as well. So we can actually build out a song. We're going to build our fullest four bars right here. And then we're going to scale that back. You can only do that if you put instruments or sounds on different tracks. So we're going to keep the same program, but we're going to use it across multiple tracks. And I'll show you how to do that here in a live looping type of a format. So let's get started here and lay our kick down. We can click on this play start button, which is going to start us at the very beginning, and it's going to still give us that four beat counting. Now, what it's going to continue to do is loop. We've got our kick laid down. Let's move over and put our snare in. So I'm going to move to track two while it continues to play in loop. You'll notice we have a blank track now, but our kick is still there in the background. Super simple beat here, right? So we start to kind of build on each track. Let's go to track number three. And let's try out a hi-hat here. And the way we can try things out is we can turn off the overdub and it's going to continue to play. And then we can experiment with our sounds without actually recording them. I like that. Let's turn overdub back on. Now we've got our hi-hat down. Let's move over to track four. And let's move to a different bank here and let's try out a couple of these sounds. That's actually probably a four measure or four bar sound. Let's go in and add that in at the beginning. So that's some sort of loop that they've assigned to one of the pads as part of this program. And that's going to continue to loop. Let's move over to track five. Let's turn overdub off. Yeah, let's add that in. Let's move over to track six. And let's go in and turn overdub off and let's change our track to a plugin. Let's open up this plugin and let's choose a lead sound here. So it's something that sounds. I like that. Let's go in. So now we're using the keyboard, we're using the drum pads, and we haven't stopped this at all during this time. 
Let's go ahead and do that now. I'm gonna stop this. This isn't the best beat in the whole world, but it gives you the idea of how we did this completely looping through, basically live looping and recording and switching tracks as we go. So now let's move over to track mute. And what you can see here is all six of our tracks with the different notes that we played right here. And you'll notice down here we have six yellow pads lit up. And if I tap on these pads, you'll notice that they turn red. So now let me go ahead and play this. You'll notice nothing's playing. And as I start to tap these pads, they are gonna turn yellow and unmute. Pretty cool stuff. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to expand our sequence beyond four bars. And a really quick way to do that in MPC Beats is to right click on your sequence and double the length. What that's gonna do is double the length, so now it's eight bars and it copied all of our MIDI notes from our tracks. So let's do that again. Let's double the length, so now we're at 16. And let's go back to the very beginning And we are going to record once again, and then we're gonna do the play, but we're gonna start with everything except our kick muted. So track one was our kick. I would recommend naming these. You can do that by double clicking on the track and typing in the name. That way when you're down here, you can actually tell which track is which. But I know in the sake of us, we recorded kick, snare, hi-hats, and then some extra instruments there. So let's go ahead and click record from the beginning. And this is gonna to start to record our unmute and our mute. So now we're gonna let that go and then we're gonna unmute our snare. We're gonna let that go for a couple more. Then we're gonna bring our hi-hats in. So now it's starting to record. You can see here in the red, it's recording which of our tracks are muted and unmuted. I'm gonna continue to unmute those, and then we're gonna bring in the other two tracks at the same time. So, in that case, we actually ran out of our 16 bars. So I was doing that too slow, but you get the idea. So we should have made that longer and built our song that way. You could do 32, 64 bars, whatever you want to actually build your song. And then you start to mute and unmute those. So now if I go ahead and play this, we go from the very beginning. So it actually recorded the mutes and unmutes we made, and you can see that in the highlighting right here. So track one was unmuted the whole time, and then we unmuted these with those pads. Very easy. And then what we can do is we can export this as an actual song. So if we go up to File and then Export, we can actually export the MIDI portions of this track. We can export this as an audio mix down, turn it into an audio file. You can do all of that right from within MPC Beats very quickly. And as you can see, we used live looping to make a beat. We only used one program and one plugin. We switched everything live and we came up with this beat that we used track mute to actually build the song. And we did all of that very easily. And the great thing is this is all included with the Oxygen Pro Mini. So you can get started making beats using the sounds, the drums, the plugins that come included with the controller and you're off to the races. If you've got any questions with this whole process, I know this was kind of a light introduction into recording in MPC Beats. I'm gonna be putting out additional videos where I go more in depth on some of the features within MPC Beats. If you have any requests, throw those down in the comments below or if you've got any questions, ask those. I'll try to respond to those if I can. Make sure you're subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. Thanks for watching, stay inspired, and keep making that music.